Why do some creatures in the deep sea grow to enormous sizes? Humans tend to be amused by creatures that span to the extremes of sizes. The tiny bee hummingbird of Cuba is much more appreciated than a common homing pigeon, just as the sight of a majestic blue whale is much more appreciated than a much smaller tuna fish. This is why ancient mythologies tend to be amusing, but in the above cases, none of the creatures can be deemed as a mistake because all of them, in their own ways, have evolved to adapt and blend into their environment. The same is true in case of our giant sea crab, giant Pacific octopus, and deep sea isopods. The question is, why are they bigger? The answer is deep sea gigantism. In today's video, we're going to talk about the deep sea creatures and how do they get so big? What makes them grow and become monsters? Well, today we'll find out in this video. Let's get started. The deeper down below the ocean waves you go, the weirder things get. A lack of sunlight reaching the lower depths of the ocean bed causes the temperatures to fall drastically. This leads to increased cell size and an extended lifespan of organisms living in such conditions, which results in the continual growth of body size throughout their lives. Due to a lack of oxygen at greater depths, these creatures have minimal food sources, which leads to a slower metabolism rate, helping them to conserve energy. They don't need to regulate their body temperature and can thus utilize that energy in other bodily processes. This is another factor behind their increased body sizes. So why can these creatures be hunted for food? Logically, they would provide more mass for the weighing seals in a seafood shop rather than their shallow water counterparts. The simple answer to this question is a resounding no. There's an incredible amount of funding required to carry out deep sea missions, let alone deep sea fishing. Let's go a little deeper and understand this. In the deepest part of the ocean, resources are severely limited. Much as they are in island ecosystems, according to a study published in 2006 in the Journal of Biogeography, much of the food originates in shallower waters and only a fraction of that trickles down to the sea depths. When food is scarce, being bigger provides a huge advantage. Larger animals can move faster and farther to find food or to locate a mate. They have more efficient metabolisms and are better at storing food. So when something like a big carcass drifts down to deeper waters, big predators can consume more and store that energy for a longer time. Cold temperatures in the deep sea can also fuel gigantism by significantly slowing down animals' metabolisms. Creatures in this ecosystem often grow and mature very slowly, such as the Greenland shark, Betondo said. This slow-moving shark can grow to be 24 feet long and can weigh up to 1.5 tons, but that growth is spread out over a lifespan that extends for centuries. Greenland sharks grow approximately 0.4 inches per year and don't reach sexual maturity until they're around 150 years old, Bitondo said. It's due in part to a lack of predators in the deep sea that these sharks can live so long and grow so large. Before humans encountered deep sea giants, they found them near the South Pole. Near Antarctica, gigantism happens closer to the surface. There are giant sea slugs, sponges, worms, sea spiders, and even giant single-celled organisms chilling in shallower water. They're within scuba range as shallow as 30 feet, art woods, and eco-physiologists who have studied polar gigantism said that it might be that there's something about Antarctica that allows giant species to live closer to surface. Also, gigantism in Antarctica could be linked to oxygen supply in the chilly waters surrounding the frozen continent. In these polar waters, oxygen concentration is high, but animals in these environments use oxygen very slowly because cold water temperatures reduce their metabolic rates, Woods explained. Because the abundant oxygen supply far outpaces the animal's oxygen demand, it's possible that growth constraints are lifted. The environment allows them to develop larger body size and tissue size without suffering oxygen deprivation. While a rich supply of oxygen doesn't necessarily drive sea creatures to become large, it likely allows for it. 
but even for polar giants, there seems to be a limit to how big they can grow. According to a recent study, gigantic Arctic sea spiders can grow to be 12 inches long or about the size of a dinner plate. The team found that larger sea spiders had lower oxygen levels in their bodies. Aerobic metabolism depends on oxygen supply, and if it gets too low, tissues will suffer from oxygen deprivation. The declining oxygen level in large sea spiders suggests that something is shifting in the balance of oxygen supply and demand, the researchers reported in the study. You imagine they can reach a size where they can get enough oxygen in. The larger ones are starting to bump up against the limit. While there are several hypotheses about the different factors that can produce ocean giants, no one is certain about the precise mechanisms that drive dramatic evolutionary changes in body size. We would say in biology that nothing is ever certain, Wood said. Some creatures in the deep sea grow to enormous sizes because they have adapted to their environment. They have evolved to be larger in order to survive in the deep waters. Humans have populated most of the Earth's landmass, but have still been largely separated from significant portions of this world. Oceans contain around 96.5% of all Earth's water, an estimated 50-80% to of all life on Earth is found under the oceanic surface. Since all living organisms cannot live in harmony, they've learned to live in their own suitable spaces. Wide varieties of organisms can be found under the world's waters, inhabiting different levels of our oceans. Millennia of evolutionary processes have helped them adapt to their surrounding environment, which has led to variations in the physical structuring of many such creatures. The earliest of our ancestors, in fact, is believed to have evolved from marine animals. The possibilities of evolution are truly endless. The folklore of giant sea monsters has baffled humans for centuries. The Hydra, Kraken, Nessie, Leviathan, and so many more have been the result of these campsite tales. Self-employed explorers and adventurers have spanned the globe in search of such creatures, but to their dismay, no such majestic beasts have been discovered. What has been found are other incredible marvels of nature, even if they're not sea monsters. Can those deep-sea creatures survive in shallow waters? If they could have, they would already be there. The separation of habitats has to do with hydrostatic pressure, which is experienced by all marine creatures. As the depth of the sea increases, so does the pressure. This would mean that organisms with gas-filled chambers, like us, would be crushed to death when exposed to extreme pressures at such depths. That's why deep-sea divers wear special pressure-equalizing dive suits. To adapt to such great pressures, deep-sea creatures are largely water-based and have minimal or no air gaps in the body. Water being in Incompressible leaves their bodies unaffected by such great underwater pressure. However, this comes with its disadvantages. If these creatures were to try and ascend towards the water surface, the dissolved gases in their bloodstream would grow less soluble with decreased pressure. Bubbles would start forming in their blood vessels, gas embolism, causing their bodies to swell up and explode. A painful end indeed. Final Thoughts Deep sea giants are living proof of evolution by adaptation. The deep waters form a world of their own, with deep sea vents and volcanoes, underwater rivers and lakes, seamounts and underwater caves. Our Earth is teeming with life in every corner and at every depth. Some of the most spectacular light shows on the planet can be seen in the deepest parts of the ocean. From glowing corals, lanternfish, and comb jellies to barbled dragonfishes, these creatures have taken the art of surviving in harsh conditions to the next level. It's truly amazing to think that there's such a plethora of life lurking out there in the deep waters, completely unaware of each other's existence. As we continue to dive deeper and deeper, probing the unknown parts of our planet, we expect to find countless more strange and fascinating creatures that have yet to be discovered and understood. That wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Till then. Peace out.